I wiggle your butt. I wiggle your butt. I wiggle, 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 wiggle your butt. Wiggle what? Wiggle your butt. <laughs> Good morning, lads and ladies. You ever, uh, uh, that feeling when you decide to make a video, but you have no idea what you're going to make the video on? Let's just hang out and chat for a while, shall we? So, what should we talk about? Let's start with the big topic. Uh, I've been enjoying World War Mode. But yesterday, yesterday was just a crazy, crazy day. Well, first off, I started my day grumpy, okay? I want to be honest with myself and with the world here as I dodged that flocky wolf. And another! Oh, well, we didn't dodge so well there, did we? We should have wiggled our butt. <laughs> what am I doing today? So I was grumpy yesterday from the start. I was tired. I, I have like zero energy after I had this this virus uh, it's just a it's weird like it's just an upper respiratory thing just a regular like flu type cold and I got a little bit of a fever for a couple of days and I'm just completely drained which does not work if you're mr. daddy so I've got two tiny women to take care of that don't do things for themselves like change diapers and feed themselves and on top of that uh, they have all these additional uh, wants needs and concerns that they make known to me in the least diplomatic fashion possible so yeah it's like one it's like uh it's like running the war thunder forums <laughs> only i actually have to keep these people alive too so i was just i was just a little bit grumpy you know and it's like you know what daddy's gonna cuss today and thankfully they're used to that <laughs> uh, anyway um uh yeah so i was aware of the fact that I was a cranky boy yesterday and you know being honest about that I think is really helpful because then you can just laugh you know and and spit out some hot trash every now and then <laughs> anyway hot trash are we talking about world war mode again anyway <laughs> you know, there are you know people have their concerns with world war mode and especially if you don't have the big picture about what's going on with world war mode just coming into a battle randomly you're like this isn't balanced but that's kind of the whole point the operations are you know i thought they weren't balanced and it turns out that the other team can easily wipe the floor with you if you're not able to step it up in terms of tactics or squadron participation, uh, you will quickly find out what uh, the fact that the first two minutes of every battle is only participated in by your squadrons uh, can do if you're up against somebody like uh, Think. or I, I played against a squadron called Skill, and they had two ones for the L's. I know, super elite speak. Uh, Apparently, they were kind of try-hardy, uh, and I haven't checked the leaderboards because, you know, I'm, I am no longer the number 8th ranked squadron commander in World War I. I used to be able to throw that football right over the mountains back there. Anyway, I'm, uh, I am very aware that it's easy to get outclassed in world war mode on either side so it's not it's not so much that the teams are unbalanced or the battles are unbalanced they are individually but in the operations it, it seems to shake out you know you have you stand a decent chance if you do the right things and you have squadron participation in winning an entire operation now, when it comes to individual battles, those can easily be stacked against you. And yeah, that's just the, the nature of the game mode. You know, maybe somebody wiped out most of your unit with artillery before it entered the battle. Maybe the 
the squadron commander sent in your unit against an entrenched tank division uh, and maybe the enemy squadron commander sent air support to the enemy team. Uh, these are all things that can happen in individual battles and are outside your control. And you know what? Sometimes you don't have to win. Maybe in the bigger tactical picture, just stalling that unit was good enough. Uh, you see that a lot with aircraft battles. It'll be uh, some aircraft against a bunch of other aircraft and a bunch of ground units. And you're like, what's going on here? <laughs> Where do you get these guys? This isn't fair. And if you don't understand that that is just part of that is your row to hoe. That's a gardening term, by the way. A, a hoe in this case is used to pull weeds rapidly and efficiently. You don't get down on your hands and knees when you're when you're weeding the corn, my friend. You grab a hoe and you terrorize everything that's not thick corn and you just leave the rest alone. Corn will take care of itself. You just got to give it a fighting chance. So you got that hoe. You got that row. You're not going to complain about how dirty or how how tough the weeds are this is your job soldier get out there and do it and you know what that's what yesterday was like for me <laughs> outside of the game of war thunder i didn't play much war thunder yesterday uh and uh puma yeah sorry i wasn't able to to participate as much as a squadron commander as i would have preferred but uh you know what stuff happens and I said I was grumpy. My girls were super grumpy. They were very, they were very, uh, okay. When a tiny woman, and I'm talking like, you know, I got a two-year-old and I got a one-year-old. And when these tiny women get low on energy, then they have no ability to cope with negative emotions. So whenever something upsets them, it's like cry it's like wine and they, they can't help it like they just break and that's not something that like I do I don't let myself do that anymore <laughs> I'll shut up before I break um, and just close off and, and that's my way of not being you know it's it's an aspect of maturity that I don't want my negative emotions that are, you know, they're perfectly fine and legitimate for me to feel that way. But I don't want it to make someone else miserable if that's not going to help the situation. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's a time for complaint and there's a time for a stiff upper lip. And these tiny women, you know, it's, it's way too early for them to understand that. And I do what I can to teach them. But they're going to go through this, this thing of if I'm not happy everyone's going to be miserable you know it's a baby syndrome they cry they get the bottle and uh you live you learn and you realize the effect that your outbursts have on other people oh man that reminds me of that uh i was wrong video that i made it's almost like i still do that crap and i have to hold myself accountable for it you know what that's very much the case but uh Picture this, right? I got screaming girls. Uh, Puma can testify to that. <laughs> they had various sundry ongoing needs uh, that they felt that I needed to be meeting uh, in the moment. And what they needed was a nap, but don't talk about, to them about that. So I had screaming girls. I uh, took a little break, got some food, and uh, threw in a load of laundry, started a load of dishes, and I'm running the hot water, and it's, we don't have any hot water. I'm like, that's weird. So I check on the laundry, and the laundry room is flooded. Fuck. So <laughs> I call my landlady, who happens to be my grandma, and I'm like, hey, the laundry room's flooded. Let's get a plumber over here. And... Uh, and it was actually my grandpa that picked up the phone and he, he wanted to, he always wants to talk. It's like, I do not have time to talk with you. 
message. Deliver the message. <laughs> and that's, that is incredibly rude. Well, I delivered it in a rude way, too. Uh, but that is incredibly rude, and I would never talk to my grandpa that way. He's a total sweetie, and he, he has this burning desire just to converse with you. Uh, he loves to talk to people, uh, and I shut him down because uh, I had this emergency. So I go and... And uh, not even sorry, by the way. He's incorrigible. <laughs> but anyway, I go in and it took me about, I got, it had to have been at least half an hour, 45 minutes just to deal with the girls because they'd both woken up from a nap and they were really hungry and cranky and they had all these needs they're used to getting fulfilled so i'm like you know what the fact that my laundry room is flooding right now uh, i shut off the water i went out to the breaker box which is actually outside my house um don't touch my breaker box i got guns um but i went out to the breaker box outside my house and i shut off the the power to my laundry room i turned off the water I still had no idea what was causing it, uh, but I went and I took care of the girls. I got them all lined out, and one of them actually went back to sleep, which she needed, and the other one needed to go back to sleep, but she was, uh, what she would prefer to do is to stand at the nearest baby gate to me and sing the song of her people, expressing her sorrow that there are these barriers between us. When I'm like, you know, soggy foot over there, walking around the laundry room, figuring out what's going on. So I manhandle the the clothes washer out from the wall, unplug it, just in case. And, uh, and it then becomes apparent that the drain hose which which drains the water out of the wash machine out to the uh the sewer had come uh had become detached from the wash machine and i examine this thing it's so it's so stupid it's like you pay what is it like two three hundred dollars for a washing machine at the least and this hose is held on by a little a little piece of wire by the way uh mgb in this battle so that was kind of cool uh seeing mike goes boom in a match it's always neat to see a a real youtuber and uh it's been a while uh but i did interview him a while back and uh that was that was when he wasn't he was in the sort of in the middle of a pretty big break from from war thunder but he came back they always come back <laughs> yeah anyway Sometimes they come back and leave and come back and leave and come back and then say they're going to leave forever like the Orange Doom did, but we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll interview him one day. The interview series is something I really want to get back to, but but again, um, the stage of life my girls are in now, I actually uh, I have stopped teaching Sunday school for a while. Uh, so I'm putting the youth pastor thing on hold now because my girls need so much attention. And there's some other stuff that that uh, I really want to get into, but I also I'm sort of convincing myself to step back and and take a break and get some perspective because uh, I think there's some very I know there's some very interesting things in my future. Uh, that I'm looking forward to when it comes to serving the Lord. But, um, where was I? So the laundry room, I got it. I got it figured out that that hose is held on by a cheap piece of wire clamp. And it's like, are you serious? You know, like you couldn't, you couldn't make this thing screw on like the rest of the hoses for this whole freaking machine. It's got to be a piece of rubber with a clamp, and then as soon as there any, if there's any back pressure, which there has to be because the hose goes up like, oh, I don't know, three, three, four feet or something like that. So, yeah, eat my AP rounds. Take that in your face. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised it survived that. Anyway, the, the ping and the arcade uh, lead indicator 
really will kill you in these aircraft versus AA missions. But again, uh, sometimes the best thing you can do is just deal some damage. Looking to defend yourself or deal some damage. Uh, also, if you're looking to defend yourself, carrying bombs and then dropping those bombs from a somewhat high altitude and then GTFO the neighborhood is still a pretty good way of dealing some damage while also protecting yourself. Uh, but I didn't have access to that with the aircraft that we had for this battle, so I took out this premium uh, HE219, I think it's called, a fantastic very enjoyable twin engine fighter that has uh, both type of 30 mil uh, so it's able to take down air targets and ground targets with ease as well as a pair of MG 108 20 mils and it sounds like my toddler is uh, is waking up and she needs me so I'm gonna go help out the two-year-old and I'll wrap up the video with this Last note on what has been a very random video, I think you'll agree. Uh, but it's been nice catching up with you guys and, and just sharing some of my life and a little bit of news with you. Uh, and this last tidbit, for those of you that stuck around, is to remind you that you don't have to own the HE-219 to use it in world war mode battles so there's a tab called uh, change vehicle in your lineup when you're lining out your forces for these world war mode battles there's also a tab called change group i think or change category so you can change that crew slot to be a fighter slot or a twin engine fighter slot or a bomber slot you get the idea or an a a slot and then you can pick a vehicle uh, from that type of vehicle list that's available in the particular operation for your side. And even if it's a premium vehicle, you can use it for free. It's a great way to try out premium vehicles and to actually play spaded vehicles and see what they're like and it's a great way to get a feel for what you should go for next in tech tree it's really fun and there's no other opportunity to play these vehicles in that way and i highly recommend it anyway this has been a very random video and i appreciate you guys sticking with me to this point catch you guys in the next one bye bye gotta go do that daddy thing again